in the name of Jesus. Say, so can you introduce yourself to us? Yes, my name is Pastor Moses Andres. Where you come from? I am from Hindu. Can you tell us what brought you to Charles Missionary Church? Uh, what brought me to Charles Missionary Church? I came for prayer, impartation. Can you tell us your experience with the man of God? Yeah, I remember in 2015, I was I visited the man of God in South Africa with my wife and then he prayed for us and when we came back to Namibia seriously the church grew unwinding and a lot of people to the point there was a lot of jealousy and other pastors were against me to the point the church was closed and I entered into the meetings with the counselors of Hindu and they, they asked me where did you get this grace from, this power from and who ordained you and all those things. Um, and the attacks are still continuing. That's the reason why I came for prayer. And when I met the apostle, he told me exactly what is happening with me now in the ministry. And he told me also the cause of uh, the problem. I was supposed to come back and appreciate, or I was supposed to come back and give a testimony and say thank you. But I was just quiet. Uh, and that's the truth. Um, the church is still, it's no more like when I came back from South Africa. Now it's, and I'm even afraid, to, like uh, I'm afraid to be more free because of jealousy, attacks, and a uh, lot of meetings, even the politicians, but it was too much for me. But I know where this grace comes from. I know uh, I visited the Apostle, and since from then, it's when I. I really start preaching and delivering demons and the manifesto. That's the reason I came back again. So say, can you encourage viewers at home? Yeah, my encouragement to the viewers at home is that uh, 
when they receive the prayer from the anointed men of God, and things are happening and all those prophecies are happening, it is very important to come back and give a testimony. It is very important to come back and say, really, it is true, there is God, and it happened to me, but I did not come back to give a testimony. And then the things go down. But after today, I believe things will move forward again, and I'm ready to come and give my testimony. Because he prophesied about my wife that will have a baby. She's having a baby. He prophesied about me, we'll get there for before, we we'll get there exact for before. He told me to go and sell those old two cars that I was selling. I sold them. And when I came back to my surprise, God gave me three wonderful cars with our child. And really, I thank God for that. Jesus, we have received this grace for today. Do us in the name of Jesus. Say, can you introduce yourself and where you come from? I'm Inda, actually, from the robot, maybe the robot. We just came to church with my wife here. I think if she can, she can say something. Yes. We are happy, we are delivered. Can you tell us what brought you to Charles Mission at Church? Uh, spiritual upliftment and uh, breakthrough in our life. Can you tell us the experience that you had with the man of God? Uh, the conversation it hits on our problem, settling our differences, difficulties in life, which we, we are intending. We are almost doing business, but our business don't uh, prosper. I think from now, as we are delivered, we are free. So how can we encourage viewers at home that are facing the very same problem that you are facing? With the viewers at home facing the same problem, they should seek the face of God with a, a church, which is, which is God church, which is a living church. Mama, can you also tell us the experience with the men of God and how are you feeling and how were you feeling before you met the men of God? My name is Miss Anna Novinda from Rehoboth. When I met the men of God, he went to the point of telling us, he see division a wall between me and my husband and the wall is all about spiritual because my husband doesn't believe too much in church, so I pray. And that sometimes it, 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 likes, it feels like I don't have respect for my husband, I don't submit to him because we'll be arguing to this while I'm attending church. But he, he says he's going to break that wall. He prays for us and we are free now. Amen. Mm. And we believe as you have met the men of God, your life will never remain the same. You will come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.